It's time for another episode of Carolina Cooks. Of course, we are with Mark Pollard and Charleston Cooks, and you know how much I love some chocolate. You know, today, Megan, for you, I wanted to make something that's a little special. Something that's got that really, really wonderful, wonderful hometown flavor. Something that just says hospitality. Like, I'm starving. So, Do you hear oh, my stomach crazy. growling right now? Yeah, I hear that's that. It. I that's hear it. that. <laughs> well, this is a really, really cool pie. This is called a Kahlua chocolate chess pie. Okay. Here's what we've got. We've got our flour right here. Yep. We're going to add a little bit of salt to the flour. Always add a little bit of salt, even to your baked goods, because it helps you recognize the flavors that are in there. Okay. So we've got our flour. Now we've got some really, really cold butter okay. that we're just going to push right we in. We just took that out of the we fridge. We just took that out of the fridge. And that's really important, that the butter is extremely cold. What we're going to do now is just cut it in. And cutting in involves just what it sounds like, cutting it into the dry mixture. And that's always where you take a wet agent, or excuse me, a cold agent such as butter, and you cut it into the flour mixture. So you'll use a little pastry knife like this and just push it together. This is almost identical to how I make my biscuits. Instead of using buttermilk though, I'm using just a whole milk whole here. Milk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little paddle here and I'm going to make a little spot here at 12 o'clock. Not going in the center. Okay, you don't just pour it all over? No, no. Okay. If I go in the center, that's okay. Some doughs you'll do like that. But in this case, if I do that, it won't really accept it the way I want it to. And mm -hmm. I want to have kind of a shaggy dough. So we'll pour a little bit in there like that. Okay. And we'll just pat it back and forth like this. And I'm going to get it into the shape of about a rectangle. I'm going to get it in third the best I can and this part here is known as laminating okay now when we laminate what we're trying to do is we're trying to build layers of cold cold butter and that is such a beautiful thing because that's going to give us a ton of flavor so we've got our butter here we've already melted our butter down a little what was bit it, like a stick if of you butter? want to yes if you'd okay. like to go ahead and pour in the chocolate chips there, okay. and I'm going to let you whisk those in. I knew she was going to eat it. I knew oh, it. Oh, pour it into here. Yeah, that would oh, be in there. Okay. There would be good. Okay. And now, use your little whisk and just keep moving them around. Mm. While that's going on, just we've got sure just a little bit of flour right. for this. Keep going. Now, okay. you want to be sure that it's nice and smooth and even, almost like what we call a ganache. A ganache, okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of flour. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. So now while you're doing that, how's your chocolate it turning out? It looks awesome. It really looks great. It's melting. What I'm doing is you see this uh, wonderful, these three eggs I put in here? Yeah. You They're beat those getting fast. them kind of pale. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good at this. I've done this for yeah, a while. Yeah, once or twice. Yeah, I'm kind of a whisker. <laughs> so there we go. Put that in there like that. Okay. Now I've got a little bit of vanilla. I've got a little bit of Kahlua. I'm going to start with a little bit of vanilla. I strongly recommend when you put in your vanilla to use a real vanilla extract. Okay. Go ahead, look at that. Do I do it as fast as you or in slow and gentle? You're doing, I've never ways. seen anybody do it so well in the history of my life. <laughs> there we go. And I've had a lot of history of life. Oh, I bet you Keep have. stirring. Okay. And that is absolutely Gosh, beautiful. So Isn't that pretty? Yes. And it's going to taste wonderful. Okay. Absolutely wonderful. So, We've got our filling now. Okay. It was just that simple. And it wasn't that many ingredients. That's no. not that overwhelming. Okay. It's, it's, and that's the thing is make it simple. This particular recipe for the pie dough. Yes. It makes an entire nine inch pie. We've rolled it out and then I just patted them into the little silicone cups. See how pretty these are going to be? Yes. They're going to be absolutely delicious. And they're so easy Gosh, to do. It so good. I mean, think how long it took us to do this, Megan. I mean, I mean like not long at all. No, it's incredible. So now... Even we, I had the patience for this. That's right. Oh. Now we have, we can set this in the oven, 325 degrees. So Mark, you just pulled these out of the oven. They were in there oh, for about 20 yes. minutes. About and 20 minutes. I mean, it's, this is like the best smell in the whole entire it's, world. It's incredible. And what it is, is you've got almost like a little custard yes. up in there. And so as you see, they rose a little bit and they're just absolutely delicious. They're perfect when they're hot. They're even better if you let them cool down just a little bit. And I'm going to hook you all up too. I'm going to post this recipe you so graciously gave us on our awesome. Facebook page so everybody can make it. So can we eat now? Let's do it. Okay. Yay. Yeah, no boy.